All right, let's take a quick look at the MakerWorld platform, uh, which is a file sharing platform released by Bamboo Labs recently. Here's the landing page, pretty typical, got like a banner ad style thing going on at the beginning, some featured designers, featured models. Uh, not much to see here. If we go up to here, we go to the 3D models. That's where most of the action is going to happen. Uh, most of you are going to be interested in that. That's where all of the 3D models are going to live that are shared by other users. Here we're just in the all category, which is where you're going to land to begin with. So you can scroll through all of the files that are available there on this first landing page. And then you can sort them by trending, new uploads, downloads, likes, collects. So all sorts of different filters. And then you can find these categories over here on the left. So you can go 3D printer specific and go all. And now these are all 3D printer specific models. Lots of bamboo lab models here, but you can have all the other the printers are, are on here as well. This isn't specifically for bamboo labs printers, but it is uh, very much configured to be optimized for the bamboo lab printers. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a second, but just wanted to draw your attention to this is the maker world and then this is printables you can see they're quite similar i mean imitation is the highest form of flattery apparently but you can make your own judgment there if we look through the other tabs quickly here you also have contests um, which for now is just a halloween design contest that isn't open yet it opens in eight days as of recording you have a forum which takes you directly to the forum and takes you away from the maker world. So that's just a link over there. And then you have the bamboo store, of course. So if you need any supplies, you want to buy a printer, it'll bring you over to their official store for bamboo labs. But back here in maker world in the 3d models, if we want to go, I'm going to use this uh, little tool model as my example. And when you click onto it, you can see there's actually a bunch of uh, pre-sliced files uh, on their .3MF file format. And what's interesting here is that uh, other users can actually add their own version of the pre-sliced file onto here. So the original creator of this, this model has this top one here, but then these other ones underneath, you can see on the icon, that's actually a different user that's created these. So if they have, they want different um, profiles, like they want different layer heights or number of walls or infills, they can create those 3MF files and then upload them themselves for everyone to use and share. Uh, so I've come in here and I've just liked this and we'll, we'll see that in the app also. So there's an accompanying app and we'll take a quick look at that after uh, in a little second here. So, Basically, you can do the normal stuff like downloads. You can open in Bamboo Studio, um, but here you got the model. You've got the description. You've got a comments and ratings section so people can post their builds and what they thought of it. Then you get to remixes. So there's no remixes for this file right now. And you have related models. So things that are similar, but not quite the same. Uh, also 3D printer related for this, this part here. So we go back to the top and we open in Bamboo Studio. It'll automatically open up that 3MF file and it's all loaded there and you could choose a black PLA instead, but that's kind of boring. I don't, I don't really want to print from the, uh, the bamboo studio here. You've all seen that before if you have one of these printers. So just showing you that that slices and you can still print it over the, uh, your Wi-Fi network there and, and over the cloud. But the cool part of this comes when it integrates with the app. Um, so we'll jump over to the app and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so now if you just go into the regular old Bamboo Handy, we have the device, which is the same as before. You can monitor your printer. Right now it's dormant, it's the printer right behind it. So there's nothing going on, it's not printing anything. But then you can go into models. And so now there's this added, fun added functionality of being able to see all of those Maker World uh, prints and models that we saw earlier so you can go through and you could search for any of these and 
And the coolest part is that you can actually just print directly from Maker World onto your printer. So you can go over here. I like that model earlier, so I can go to likes. I can find that printer, that print that I found earlier, and then I can prepare it to print. And I can choose the profile from the profiles that people have created. I'm just going to use the original one. I'm on my X1 Carbon, so that's selected. That's correct. Now I can hit print. I know that I have a 0.4 nozzle in there. That's correct. But I have the PEI textured plate, so I'll change that. I'll choose the filament. I'm going to do this in a, let's choose the blue silk PLA that I have in there. And I want one copy. I want to enable AMS. I want to enable bed leveling. I want the flow calibration. I'm going to leave that all the same. I'll add a time lapse on there. And I'll print now. So it's sending the print job. We'll do a timer to see how long this takes to, to actually start up. Well, there you go. It, uh, it already actuated. The, uh, the screen's already acknowledged that uh, there's a print. It's asking me if I want to do new firmware, which I don't right now. But you can see that that's the print we chose in the correct color. And we'll see how she turns out. Now we're back at the computer, we're in Bamboo Studio, we can see that it's printing just great. Uh, blue silk PLA is looking real good. Uh, we'll check back in when this thing is done. Alright, so we can see in the app that the print is complete. Uh, you can give it a rating if you want to. Let's take a look at how this thing turned out before we give it a rating. But. Here are all those parts. Let me know what you think in the comments about the whole uh, whole file file sharing service and how that integrates with the printer. I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one.